by ISIS. All right, for days now, we've been telling you about the American journalist Stephen Sotloff being held by ISIS terrorists. He can be seen kneeling next to that uh, terrorist covered in black. Of course, this image appeared on that same video where the American journalist James Foley was beheaded. Well, just moments ago on Al Arabiya television, uh, Stephen Sotloff's mother, Shirley, made a plea for his life. Listen. I'm sending this message to you, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi al-Qurashi al-Husseini, the Caliph of the Islamic State. I am Shirley Sotloff. My son Stephen is in your hands. Stephen is a journalist who traveled to the Middle East to cover the suffering of Muslims at the hand of tyrants. Stephen is a loyal and generous son, brother, and grandson. He's an honorable man and has always tried to help the weak. We have not seen Stephen for over a year and we miss him very much. We want to see him home safe and sound and to hug him. Since Stephen's capture, I've learned a lot about Islam. I've learned that Islam teaches that no individual should be held responsible for the sins of others. Stephen has no control over the actions of the U.S. government. He's an innocent journalist. I've always learned that you, the Caliph, can grant amnesty. I ask you to please release my child. As a mother, I ask your justice to be merciful and not punish my son for matters he has no control over. I ask you to use your authority to spare his life and to follow the example set by the Prophet Muhammad who protected people of the book I want what every mother wants, to live to see her children's children. I plead with you to grant me this. Shirley Sotloff pleading for her son's life. You know, the Sotloff family hasn't talked about uh, Mr. Sotloff's capture. They wanted to keep things quiet to keep him safe. But when he appeared in that video, it certainly forced their hand. Even after he appeared in that video, the Sotloff family tried to keep things quiet. Um, they tried to urge his friends not to talk. According to the New York Times, though, his friends insisted on talking about Mr. Sotloff. More than 8,100 people, according to the New York Times, have signed a petition on the White House website, um, and that was created on the same day the ISIS video was posted. They were urging Mr. Obama to take immediate action to save Stephen's life by any means necessary. And as we've told you, the United States doesn't negotiate with terrorists nor does it provide ransom money, so Stephen Sotland remains in captivity. And also, we, we learned this morning by looking at Twitter, of all things, that ISIS is using Stephen Sotloff's death as sort of a bargaining chip. Um, and, and there's a hashtag, and I won't repeat it because I really don't want to give them any, um, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm sorry, who do we have available? Peter, Cr I'm sorry, who? Paul Crookshanks, thank you very much. Paul, sorry about that. I couldn't, too many people were talking in my ear, but I'm glad you're here. Do you think that um, Shirley Sotloff's plea will make a difference? Well, um, the, the prospects for this hostage, are unfortunately, are, are pretty uh, dire. They've already executed one of the hostages. Uh, they've made it clear that they want to retaliate uh, for U.S. Uh, strikes. Those U.S. strikes haven't stopped. They've just intensified, and now it looks as it may be possible the United States uh, may launch strikes as well uh, in Syria, which is ISIS's stronghold. That may well be a red line uh, for ISIS, where we see even more retaliation uh, from the group.